This is our RV rescue. This is show two. And in case you missed the first episode of our RV rescue concept, we received applications from all across the country and we finally selected our winning family whose Winnebago is right behind me in the process of being renovated from top to bottom. The Tarkanish family is out enjoying the sights here in Daytona Beach. Meanwhile, our RV rescue team is hard at work. In fact, they've been hard at work all night and we cut the slide out hole yesterday and it looks like behind me right over here, we are constructing the new slide out right there. That's going to be going into that hole over there that we cut yesterday. And you know, there was some action last night and I guess there was some, some arguing about what's going on in the interior. Oh, yeah. I want my window. Well, that's stupid. So let's check in with Melody Rose, our designer down here. Hi, Melody. How you doing? So uh, we wanted to check in and find out what happened last night. There's a little bit of uh, controversy, a little bit of discussion about the interior here. Yeah, we had some, um, we didn't agree on everything. You know, we all had plans today. Mine was to be at the beach. So I volunteered to come out here and help. You didn't agree. No, they wanted me to give in, and I wanted them to give in. Right. There's not enough room. When you sit down, your butt is going to... Your butt, I'm a little guy, right? We kind of compromised, but I feel like I won more. So what's going to happen inside that maybe wasn't in the plan? Um, well, instead of just flipping the mattress and having my window seat, I'm going to do a U-shaped seating area in the back, and the center will fold down kind of like a small futon okay. and make it one large bedding area. All right. I'm not going to cut the bottom half of the bathroom wall. I'm going to leave the bathroom as it is, and I actually get to get my shower in my toilet room, which is what I really wanted to do. The shower is back. It's a waterproof toilet room. Okay. Which can be used as a shower, the Dean. Sure. Um, Very handy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty excited about that. And everybody's okay. We had a little frazzled nerves last night, but everybody's fine now. Yes. Okay. Very good. Apologies made. We made up. Good deal. All right, on the opposite side of our Winnebago, and there's the hole where the slide out is going to come in. And wait a minute, check out the wheels. Check out these rims, huh? Is that going to be sweet? We're putting those on right now. Look at that look. Very nice. The folks here from Workhorse are doing that for us. And now let's go over to the slide out. How soon do we get the room in? Uh, he just left. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> just left. <laughs> well, it'll be happening in the next couple of hours, you think? Yes. Here he comes now. Okay, here How he comes. How long before the room goes in? How long before the room? Uh, as soon as we get this covered in place, we want to it and make sure we've got enough gap on either side and the top. Right. So as soon as we get this bowl in, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Jacked up here right now, we're putting the rims on and also uh, putting a steering installation in there to keep them safe on the highway. In addition to the new steering control system, the old chieftain was also okay. getting leveling jacks installed. We're going to run the front jacks, the back jacks, extend them, and then one for the front, one from the back off the back to retract them back up. It'll be a push button pad, hit one button, all four of them come down and level the coach by themselves. Because this coach originally had none of that. Right, they didn't even offer them when this coach was built. So. Didn't offer them back in the early 80s. <laughs> That's right. Oh look, you can see the engine. Check this out. Huh? Here's your engine right there, and I'm thinking this is a bracket for a TV. Oh, the family's gonna love that. And here's another bracket. For a TV, right? Right. Where are we putting this? I'm gonna go back there on that, where that uh, luggage compartment is actually set oblong. You gotta basically watch TV when it's back here in the, in the uh, bedroom compartment. Yeah. Go slide out, watch the area beyond. I watch love that concept. Was that your idea? Yeah, I love that's that a idea. Good idea. Yeah, that's very yeah. cool to slide right outside. So let's say you're tailgating, you watch the ball game outside, yep. or in the evening, you're kicking back with a cold one. Well, a lot of the interior. Entertainment centers, the TVs are down real low and nobody right. can see them. This one here is going to be up real high and you have a whole crowd with you then. So that's a great I think idea. It's a pretty neat idea. Patent that one. We just might. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. See if we can move through here. This is kind of crowded. Oh look, it's Bob. Bob, do you, do you rest? No. Hey, can I point out one thing to you about Daytona Beach? I What's thought you might be interested in this. It's National Cheerleading Week here. Oh, don't tell me that. So Bo's and I uh, took the camera down to the beach. Oh, you did. Yesterday. You want to see some of that video? I'd love. Let's, let's roll some of that right now, just for Bob. Whoa! And that's that TV mechanism that we heard about earlier. Washer dryer. Just like that, and slides out there. And down below is? Washer dryer. Washer dryer. Dishwasher. Dishwasher here. 
stove, stove top, stove top all along here, microwave, microwave up there, and back in the back we've got the frame for the bed, and uh, over here I think the uh, the toilet's gonna be the same location. Yes, same location, but it's also gonna be a shower to be. Right, same and location. Outside sink here and there. So it's shaping up, right? And because of Hi and welcome back to RV Today. We are on day three of the RV rescue and guess what? We got some heavy rain last night. So we're all kind of drying out right now. Here, let's take a tour. Oh look, we're doing some upholstery work over here. There's Melody. How's it going, Melody? Good, how are you? Fine, drying out from the rain? Trying to, yeah. yes. The sun's gonna help that. The sun's helping out, so we've got the cushions out here, and then we've got like a sewing circle happening over here. And those are gonna be the coverings. And you can see that we painted the back of the Winnebago. That was last night in between the raindrops. And this is the slide tray. This is gonna come out from the back, and that's what the family is gonna put their barbecue on. We got some uh, we got some rain last night, didn't we, Bert? Yeah, that slowed us down a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to basically stop on the exterior of everything, yeah. cover everything up. But uh, we're back at it this morning, and uh, actually making some pretty good progress today, so. How about sleep? Anybody get any sleep? Very little. Really? Very little. Yeah. Very little. So you're running yeah. on empty today. Running on empty, and uh, I think my th my feet look like Fred Flintstones after he's, you know, trying to stop. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we need a little more motivation today. A little more coffee, I think. Oh, we got the motivation. It's just, yeah. you know, <laughs> everybody's running on E right now. So. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I won't interrupt. Carry on. All right. Thanks. And let's look inside. Looks like we're putting some uh, wall coverings up. Nice snug fit. <laughs> Never look up. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay, on the inside, a whole lot of activity. You know, the first thing that I see, the big improvement, the wall covering. Got the new wall covering, and that's uh, pretty much done throughout the rig. That looks really nice. So we got some electrical work going on here? Yeah, we'll put that small, some ceiling lights, thin lights going to be going underneath. Thin here. lights, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like the old uh, uh, power box here is still in good condition and stuff. So, yeah. So. We're looking good there. No major problems with the electrical then right now? No. Okay. Very good. And if we can move back through here, I'm not sure if we can get back through here. Oh, just put that anywhere. <laughs> can I help you here? What are we doing? Yeah, sure. Uh, we've got to drill this hole a little bigger to get the light wires through. Get the light wires through? Yeah. Okay. As the work progressed smoothly inside, there was also plenty of activity on the prep table set up outside. Mindy, this is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that fabulous? Tell it me about what we're really looking well. at here. Yeah. Well, this is a custom inlay on Star on Solid Surface by Samsung. It's the Penn State logo. Yeah. And uh, it was done by these fabulous fabricators here from PDM Products. And yeah. this is Phil. Phil, how did you do this, first of all? With a little bitty saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, actually, with this was done with a laser. Oh, they are going to love this. And there's something else with the Penn State logo. The Tarkanish family. Fabulous. Penn State. And where are we going to put this? That's a cup holder that's going up by the dash in the front there. How oh, cool. And Phil, you did this too? Yes, sir. You're a busy cowboy. Oh, we're having fun now. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, other Dometic products were going into the mix, like the Duotherm air conditioner that was being installed up top, and the new A&E awning to match the motorhome was being adjusted, and the new Dometic fridge with gloss black accent panels in the doors was going in as work progressed into the night. The old shower had been ripped out, and that left room for the new Splendid RV washer-dryer combo. And because of the heated discussion the previous night, the toilet location was staying put as part of the new marine toilet design. Things were coming together nicely as we headed into another long night at the Daytona International Speedway. Coming up, we finish the countertop installation and start working on the new sound system. As you can hear, we're in day three of our big RV rescue. This is Trent. We're talking about some of the new electronics that are going to be installed in the old Winnebago. We got some high tech stuff here, don't we Trent? Yes, okay, let's start on this side and show them what we have. What do we got here? This is our converter, 12 volt battery charger. We're gonna install in the front of the unit. It okay. comes with all types of monitoring systems like this. You can monitor the voltage, regulations, all that stuff on your mm -hmm. unit. We're gonna wire this up to the front for our 12 volt DC system. Yeah. This right here is gonna uh, have an AC in charging the battery. Right. And 
from there we're gonna have some head units in the unit too. What do we got here? This is a Jensen DVD, CD, MP3 Nice. Player. And compare that to what we're taking out. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're taking out. This is out of uh, 84 Winnebago. <laughs> so. so the new technology, there's the old technology. This and is going to be our new head unit in the cab of it. Okay. We're going to install this up front in the cab. This yeah. is going to be for the living room in the front. They're going to love this. Yeah, there's going to be two TVs up front. Very nice. And these are outdoor speakers? Yeah, these are outdoor speakers on the side of our unit. Yeah. we got a little flat that opens up. I and saw that. flat screen goes indoor to outdoor. And then you can watch the TV and listen outside. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. And here's the subwoofer then? Yeah, this is our subwoofer. We're going to install this in the back so you can open up a compartment in the area. Yeah. You open up the compartment, you listen to it outside, you close the compartment and hear it inside. Oh, they are going to love this. And how long does all this take to install? probably going to take me about three or four hours a day to put most of this stuff in. Three or four hours, and we've got sunshine, so yeah. I think it's time to get going. Yeah. Okay, let's head in there. i got to grab something. How about this? Oh, okay, let's go. After all the wiring came another big project, checking the fit on the new slide-out. How's it fitting, Bert? It's real good. It looks yeah. real good. It's real good. That's yeah. a relief, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But we knew it all the time. <laughs> well, Carl did. Oh, Carl. <laughs> Carl knew it was a good fit, right? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, he yes. did. That's what yeah. we needed here. Yes. <laughs> so, have you been watching the rescue thing? Yes. Yeah? I, I was amazed when I saw you putting that slide out in. I was too. I did, I, I, <laughs> we'll see about that a little later. I think. And so you submitted your rig for the RV rescue. Yes. Okay, but you bought a new one recently, right? Right, right. What'd you get? Uh, Winnebago Journey. Yeah, how's it working out? Love it. Yeah. Love it. The project had been drawing large crowds at the RV rally for the past three days, including many loyal viewers of RV Today. And this is Alan and Lorraine, and you say that we're responsible for getting you into the RVing experience? Definitely. How did that happen? We uh, were surfing through the channels and found RV Today and started watching, got hooked, uh, get all the best tips that we can, and it helped us purchase an RV. So what did you buy? We bought a, a Tosca Sun Cruiser. Really? So you hadn't done RV before you watched the show? No. Never. Any fun uh, moments with the sewer hoses, Alan? No, we've been uh, good. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. You just had to put a new one in, but oh, you did. Yeah, because we're maintaining. We're learning sure. to maintain. I'm waiting for that magic moment. <laughs> <laughs> and that other magic moment when the Tarkanich family would see the rescue chieftain was drawing nearer by the minute. But we were still looking at quite a few finishing details, like all that wiring up front, and the curtains, and that beautiful countertop that needed a little convincing. It had been a long haul for the RV rescue team. Lots of sleepless nights with a growing pile of discarded original Winnebago parts and accessories. The old toilet was in the trash heap, and the new Dometic was being installed in the marine bath that we know the family will like. So the end was now in sight. At least that was the plan. The Tarkanish family had been out enjoying the sights of Daytona Beach for the past three days. But it was time to give them a call for them to come back to the racetrack to look at their ultimate tailgating machine. We'll show you that big reveal coming up next. I don't think that's ours. That's yours. Hi there and welcome back to RV Today. Well, it's almost done and as we say in the business, the devil is in the details. They're scrambling. Will they get it finished on time? We'll see. Hi guys, how was your week here in Daytona Beach? Absolutely fabulous. Great. What have Great. you been doing? Swimming, burning. <laughs> uh, Who got burned? Oh, uh, Jake got burned. <laughs> Enjoying the beach? Enjoying the oh, beach. so warm. Yes. Well, well, you've been doing that. We've been a little busy back here. Let's bring the whole team out here. This is the team that's been working day and night trying to rescue your RV. In fact, they have. And our chief designer, where's Melody? Where's Melody? There's Melody. We've remodeled it just a little bit. And you guys bought the RV to go up and date, right? Yeah, we did. Well, I think you're going to be a hit at Penn State. Are you ready to see it? Yes. Everybody ready? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one.
What do you think? Awesome. I don't think that's ours. That's yours. There are no words. Now, you know you can't switch schools now. Oh, heck no. Okay. <laughs> So we also knew that you needed a little bit of room inside, right? Oh my God. So we thought maybe we'll put a slide out in there. Let's pull that slide out out and show the new room that you guys are going to have. Now we're going to take in a little tour around your RV to see what we've added, okay? Do you like the colors? Definitely. So now we thought maybe if you're uh, tailgating at Penn State, you might want to barbecue. How about that for a little barbecue? Oh, that awesome. that oh, nice. And then when you're outside, maybe you could watch some television, see how the other games are coming along. No way! Oh, huh? oh yes! Yeah. How about that? Like that? Awesome. A little outside entertainment for you. And we kept the 27 just to remind you how many feet long this is. Okay. okay. Oh, and by the way, the pile over there. Uh, there's the pile over there. That's what we took out of your RV. What? Let's go inside take a look at that, okay? Come on in and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A little bit of Penn State, blue and white. Oh, it's perfect. Here, have a seat. Have a seat. See this? I kick back. Oh, so Kick back when you're tailgating. Huh? Yeah. So just a, a few of the features. There's a drop-down flat screen TV that you can enjoy up there. Here's one of the other three TVs that you oh have inside here. Could you keep up your bed for that TV, Jake? Here's your new Dometic fridge, and I think you'll have use for that when you're tailgating. Oh, definitely. You like the countertop? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Fabulous. Absolutely that works. fabulous. And you can take this off. It's a stovetop here for cooking up things, you know, nice. when you're tailgating. Oh, oh, wow. There you go. You've got your oven there. You've got your microwave up here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the other TV screen. And by the way, that swivels so you can watch from any angle back there in the bedroom. Oh, so nice. Yeah. The family also liked the additional sink at the end of the star on countertop that led into the newly designed bedroom. The bed had been replaced with a U-shaped seating area that converts to a sleeping area after the tailgate party ends. And the newly designed marine bath with a Dometic toilet was a big hit with Jake compared to his old facility. All the hard work by the RV rescue team over the past 72 hours paid off with plenty of oohs and ahs. The finished product was obviously a big hit with the family. Well, we're really going to be roughing it, let me tell you. <laughs> we, along with a lot of other people who sponsors it, uh, we've got all our product in it, be it the awning, the toilets, the microwaves, the bathrooms, the air conditioning, uh, a little bit of a vacuum cleaner here and there. Uh, but we had a lot of help from the Winnebago's and the Leapers and a lot of other people that to come together, Camping World and the people of that, that group. Everyone's uh, done a great job, and uh, like I said, they've been working hard. And if you look at it, just about everything can be replaced. That also included replacing the old tires with Goodyear tires, new rims and wheels, awnings, air conditioner up top, and some great new additions like the Safety Plus steering control and that amazing slide out. Oh, and one final replacement <laughs> item. Maybe you need a new one. <laughs> so you can have either oh, one. Thank you. Wonderful story. All of you. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you very much. And thank you, RV Rescue. Thank, thank you, RV time. Rescue. Happy RV. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Yours. There are no words. Huh? There are no words to describe. Exactly.